from punching to kicking and rolling, martial arts are more than just a self-defense mechanism. It builds self-confidence, it helps with school, it helps with how you how much confidence you bring out in meeting new people. And for Michael and Nicholas Locke, it's a family affair. From the moment I could walk, I could kick. We started very young because I started very young also. My parents did it, my mom and dad did it, my grandparents did it. It was just, it runs in the family. The two practice and teach Korean Hapkido, a form of martial arts that incorporates several techniques. Hapkido is one of the very unique arts, it's one of the integrated arts. That's with kicking, punching, rolling, flipping, falling, ground fighting, weapons, and using your opponent's force. And they're sharing their skills with the public as part of Team Canada at the first Tapisa World Martial Arts Games at the Richmond Oval. It's the first time it's at the Richmond Olympic Oval, and as well it's the first time that an a martial arts event such as this has received IOC patronage. <laughs> Being the International Association for Sport for All, we are a global umbrella organisation. We promote sport for all and physical activity internationally. We work with other international bodies, for example, the World Health Organisation, UNESCO, ICSPA, to make sure that sport for all and physical activity are getting enough attention and the focus isn't all just on elite sports. With over 300 competitors from around the globe, the event provides a platform to showcase and compete in a variety of exotic and action-packed martial arts forms. As well as the competition, which ranges in age groups as well as discipline, we have demonstration events, we have some social events around that so people can come and they can participate, they can learn about martial arts, they can um, learn to do some martial arts as well, which is exciting. And for Nicholas, it's a great way to meet like-minded people. When I meet new people in the tournaments, they have the same drive, the same passion I have for martial arts, which also amazes me. I'm not alone. I'm not the uh, odd bird out. Nicholas currently teaches Hapkido with his dad, encouraging others to make it a part of their lives. It's a party forever. In Richmond, I'm Dinitozi for Go Vancouver. Good job. Well done.